Okay, so it's going to be a review to help you with your probability test. So if they're not the same questions, they should be uh, very similar. Uh, so hopefully this will uh, get you a good start on that uh, test. Again, the review is extra credit plus 10. Um, the actual test is taken for grade. So let's look at this problem. Suppose that 71% of the surface of the earth is covered in water and a random number generated uses latitude and longitude to select a random location on earth. If seven such locations are generated, what is the probability that the first five are in water and the last two are on land? So here it, we're looking for what's the probability that the first five are in water, what's the probability of water, that's 0.71, and again we're going to raise that to how many times we want to find it in water, that is five. Uh, what's the probability of on land, that would be one minus 0.71, so 0.29. Again we're going to raise that to how many times we're going to find that, which is two. And again, uh, let the calculator do the rest of the work, and you should get your answer of 0.0152. Okay, let's look at question two. Suppose that 71% of the surface of the earth is covered in water and a random number generator uses latitude and longitude to select a random location on the earth. If six such locations are generated, what is the probability that all six are in water? Okay, so again, we're finding the probability that they are in water, which is 71%, and we're going to raise that to how many times we need that to happen. That is six. And again, calculator can do the rest of the work, and you should get 0.1281. Uh, so let's look at another one. Um, again, same scenario, 71% of the surface of the earth is covered in water. Uh, again, we're using uh, latitude and longitude to select a random location on Earth. So if six locations are generated, what's the probability that at least one of those is over land? So at least one means one minus the probability of none. So if we do one minus the probability that none are over water, well, we need to plug in well, what's the probability of water. Well, that is 71%, so 0.71, and we're going to raise that to the sixth power. So again, calculator can do the rest of the work. You should get 0.8719. So notice here, 63% of households speak English as their primary language and 23 speak French. What's the probability that the first household speaks French, but the second speaks English? So again, we're looking for probability of French. How many speak French? That would be uh, 23%. How many speak English? English would be 63%. And if we multiply two, those two together, we should get the answer. So let's look at another one. In a certain hole, a golfer knows that he has a 70% chance of reaching the green. In one stroke, 20% and two, 8% uh, and three, and 2% and four. He reaches the green on this first stroke. He has an 80% chance of putting the golf ball in the cup on a second stroke. 
If he does not reach the green on his first, he has a 30% chance of putting the golf ball in the cup on his second. What is the probability that the golfer will reach the green in one stroke and put the ball in the cup on his second? So this is an example of when you can use uh, the probability trees. So uh, we have four different things we're talking about, uh, a probability for one stroke, probability for two stroke, for three stroke, and for four stroke. Again, we have a 70% chance for one, 20% for two, 8% for three and 2% for four. Again, the next sentence says that if he reaches the green on his first, he has an 80% of getting it in the cup, which would mean 20% uh, would be not in the cup because one minus 0.8. So what's the question asking us? Um, again, if you wanna fill out the second stem, two strokes, we have a 30% in the cup. 70% and not the cup. So what's the probability that the golfer will reach the green in one stroke and put the ball in the cup on the second? So again, we're gonna go to our tree branches and look up one stroke and cup. And that gets us 0 0.7 times 0.8. Uh, so next one, a hairstylist knows that 87% of the customers get a haircut and 40% get their hair colored. Of the customers who get their hair cut, 24% get their color, hair colored. What's the probability that a randomly selected customer gets their hair cut and colored? So again, we're looking for a probability of cut and probability of color. Probability of cut is 0.87 and probability of color is a 0.24. And with the calculator crunch the numbers, you should get 0.21. So uh, let's look at another one. So we have a medical clinic is randomly selecting two staff members to attend a conference. Clinic employees include seven nurses, three doctors, and two office staff. The nurses want to know the probability that both attendees will be nurses, and the tree diagram displays the possible outcomes of randomly selecting two staff members. Okay, so again, we're looking for what probability goes in that third slot. Well, the top slot says um, probability of a nurse. Well, how many nurses are there? There are seven out of a total of 12, because seven plus three plus two. And so the bottom part should be probability of no nurse. Well, no nurse would just be 12 minus seven. So five out of 12. We look at another one. Um, we have the beginning of the semester, a professor tells students, that if they study for the test, then there's a 55% chance that they will get a B or higher. If they do not study, there's a 20% chance that they will get a B or higher. The professor knows that prior surveys that 60% of students study for the test, and the possibilities are displayed in the tree diagram. The professor informs the class that there will be a test next week. So what is the probability that a randomly selected student studied for the test if they pass with a B or higher? So again, we're looking for a probability that they pass with a B or higher. So if we look at our probability tree, 
always, if you're talking about if that probability goes in the denominator, if probability goes in the denominator, And again, the numerator is going to be the probability that they study. So looking at the probability tree, the probability that they study is 0.6. Uh, probability that we get a B or higher is actually two options, right? We have two options on our probability tree. 0.55 plus 0.2. And if you crunch the numbers, We should get 0.8. Okay, last one, we have a two-way table here. Um, we have a two-way table of a geographical region and type of crop from 1,477 farmers. And again, suppose a farmer from the survey is chosen at random. I let M equal farmer lives in Midwest and V equal farmer grows vegetables. What is the value of the probability that we get vegetables given Midwest. So first let's start by uh, finding the total of Midwest. So what's the probability of Midwest? Well, total Midwest farmers are 365. And probability of vegetables, how many vegetables are in the Midwest? that would be 251. So answer is 251 out of 365. So hopefully uh, this gets you a good start on that probability test. Again, reminder, review is plus 10 extra credit.